goals of Dr. Bundy this year was to try to give the Blue Band some opportunities to play outside the confines, from the confines of Beaver Stadium. And as you saw, we were able to go up to MetLife Stadium for the Syracuse game at the very uh, beginning of the season. That was a great trip. Coming up on October 19th, that is a, a Saturday, that's the second bye week in the season. Uh, Penn State will be down at Redland High School, down in Lewisbury, Pennsylvania, at the uh, Tournament of Bands Chapter Competition. Uh, they'll be performing an exhibition that night on October 19th at Redland High School. So if you're in the York, Lancaster, Harrisburg area, great chance to see the Blue Band up close and personal. The band will be traveling the week before that, I should say, too, to, or I'm sorry, the week after that, the band will be traveling out to Columbus for the Penn State Ohio State game, so we're looking forward to that. And we found this out for sure right before the season started. The Blue Band is shuffling off to Buffalo this year to play the Buffalo Bills game. So what's going to happen is on Saturday, November 2nd, Penn State will be hosting Illinois here at Beaver Stadium. And then after that game, the Blue Band will be getting on buses, going up to Buffalo. We'll be playing at the Bills game on Sunday, November 3rd. They take on the Kansas City Chiefs. And that game is scheduled for a 1 o'clock kickoff in Buffalo. And we're going to be doing both pre-game and halftime performances at Bills Stadium. So this will be a great day for the Blue Band. Let's continue our pregame show with a song we like to hear early and often. The touchdown version of Fight On State.
And now, a great college marching band tradition, the Blue Band's trademark drill, the Floating Lions. Hail to the Lions!
script today that you may uh, hopefully will catch both here in Raider Stadium is that 35 years ago, almost to the day, the Doobie Brothers played Rec Hall after Penn State beat uh, Southern Methodist University uh, in the middle of uh, the partway through another undefeated season. So uh, the Doobie Brothers thing, I think, is going to be really fun. We've also got uh, shows later in the season for uh, Homecoming. We'll have the alumni band here. We're going to do some new things and some old things in keeping with this year's homecoming theme of uh, movement ahead and traditions remain. And we've also got one uh, later in the season that's really interesting based on music that's been uh, motivated or inspired by the star-crossed lovers literary themes. A little Romeo and Juliet, a little bit of Gnomeo and Juliet, for those of you that have little ones by that movie, and uh, a little bit of West Side Story. All right, sounds like a great season. Congratulations so far, and thank you for all you're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, also, wait a second. Stop right there. An amazing honor bestowed on this man. He has been named an alumni fellow of Penn State University. our assistant director who is the designer of today's halftime show. And it is time for halftime with the Blue Band as we present classic hits from the Doobie Brothers. Forty years ago, this California-based group broke onto the music scene with a string of hits and become legendary rock and roll standards. The Doobie Brothers are one of the longest active touring acts in popular music. In fact, Right now, in California, the current Doobie Brothers are preparing for a live concert tonight at the Vino Robles Amphitheater. In early October, the group's tour includes an Eastern swing of performances in Virginia Beach and Baltimore. The Blue Band opens today's halftime performance with an early hit that continues to be an audience favorite 40 years after it was introduced. Here comes China Grove.
from Saturday, September 23rd, 1978, almost exactly 35 years ago, our then number three ranked Emmy Line football team defeated SMU by a score of 26 to 21 in Beaver Stadium. That evening in Rec Hall, Penn State students celebrated the victory during an exciting concert headlined by the Doobie Brothers. Daily Collegiate coverage of that 1978 concert recorded that the Doobie Brothers ended with an encore that included their then current hit, Listen to the Music.
got the nation's number one mascot. So please help me out. We want the lion. Yeah.